just walk right out the door Don't want to do this anymore Now I'm lost without you You drive me crazy out my mind How'd you do this every time? Now I'm lost without you Used to be the one I talk to when I'm sad Can't you see that tainted love is all we have I wish you'd run so deep Now when I try to sleep I feel so bad Hey guys, Lady Borgia, it is me and my, my fan That's right some air too okay it is hot it is ridiculously hot and it is august in new york but i have brought you some colorful changes that's right because we are doing neons in a neon tutorial why not i told you guys who love the black background that we would keep it we were just gonna judge it a little bit so i found a way to do both I also found a way not to straighten my hair today. <laughs> but I let it dry, popped it up, and we have Just Be to thank for making my hair pretty today because they sent me vintage styled hairpins. Isn't that pretty? They sent me a whole bunch of them, and um, I collect actually vintage hairpins. So, vintage styles pins is really cool. They also make them in barrettes, so I will link it below so you guys can get some because vintage is super in. In fact, when is vintage not in? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I like them and think they're pretty, so they're in, because I say so. <laughs> All right, let's go and get into the neons and have so much fun, because we got lots of stuff to try, some P. Louise bases, some other neons. It's going to take more than one video to try out all the new fun stuff, and I got some stuff on the way um, that I want to share with you guys, too. So give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you have not, and ding, 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 dong. Ding. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Okay, let's go. Okay, here we go into the colorful cut crease eyeshadow tutorial, and we're using P. Louise Base in 0.5 to pat that out all over my eye. And then Jawbreaker Bubblegum Eyeshadow with a 507 from Morphe, and we're gonna blend that all over, and then cavity from blood sugar just under the bubble gum and we're gonna bring that out into the wing and just blend and blend and blend and just peeking at you and then we're gonna go back into the blood sugar palette into root canal and we're gonna put that right under everything else and the outer two-thirds blend 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 it into the wing and then we're going to go into purple punch and blend that in even more pull it up and then pull some into the inner corner Ooh, looking good and then we're going to take bite me with a pencil brush from morphe and really get in there to give some depth and definition and pull that in and we're gonna keep pulling it out and then we're gonna take gumdrop sorry I forgot to show it and we're gonna pack it in various places and then we're gonna take bubble gum from the jawbreaker and pack it other places we're trying to give kind of a cotton candy effect we're gonna pat and blend pat and blend and then we're doing the cut crease of P. Louise base 5 and then sadly stargazer neon pink gets patted in there um, but the footage disappeared so I don't have it there you go and then after the neon pink, we went in with Hint of Mint base from P. Louise and cut that crease again. Take your time with this and just go through and then take Cute from Jawbreaker and set that Hint of Mint. Just tapping it in with a flat shader, get as flat as you can. And then I decided to go in and fill the lid with Hint of Mint just and pull a wing out onto it because I just felt like doing that. And then I took the pigment from P. Louise Icy, which I thought was more silver, but when I got it, it was more greenish, goldish silver, which worked perfectly for this. So yet another thing I had never tried before. And then into Jawbreaker for Snack and Jawbreaker. First we hit Snack on the brow bone. And then we go into Jawbreaker right there. And then we do Lashes, Liner, and Mascara. And then we go into the Becca Hydra Mist, which I've been dying to try. Yes, you see where I put my, oh yes, keep it, keep it closed to keep it cool. I've been dying to try this. I kept forgetting. Ooh, 
Ooh, yeah, I'm putting it right where I put my concealer, under the eyes, just onto the forehead and on the chin. I don't know why I didn't get this sooner. Ooh, it feels so cool. I went a little ham down there because like I said, I just put a little concealer on the chin. But yeah, I really like that. Okay, Beach Cosmetics um, 10 Pan Blush Palette. Um, they have two different versions, but I'm gonna count this in my new stuff because I bought it a while back, used it once, and um, never used it again, and it's super cute. And then into Marc Jacobs um, Matte Gel Highlighter in Whirlpool, which went great with all the greens in this look, and pulled it through. And then uh, Marc Jacobs, another matte one in, um, Oh my god, missed me, sorry. And then we went into Oro for Mini Breaker to highlight the inner corner. And then I decided to take it under the eye and bring it out under that soft wing. I don't know, I've kind of been into those soft wings with a bit of shadow underneath them, nothing too harsh. But the harshness will come back again in the graphics, you know me. And then a little bit of that Oro on the brow bone and looking at everything else and of course uh, the jeffree star supreme frost in diamond wet i think i've only used it once in one video so i counted it as new <laughs> get that cupid's bow and that cheekbone and the nose and then we've got restraint self-control and purple urkel i went in first with self-control with a little bit of restraint on top and then some purple urkel and this is the final look, which I like. <laughs> Ooh, I have to say, um, not a thing that I used in this video that I am not like completely in love with, but all of them absolutely fantastic and super easy to work with. So on that note, I'm gonna go and I hope you have a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. So see you soon. Love you all. Lady Bullshit.